Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Coachman Arcadia 545 here at Salop Leisure who've kindly allowed us to film. I will be following Covid guidelines hence I will be wearing a mask. So what do we need to know about the 545 for 2021? Well this is a four berth single axle caravan. It's 7.4 metres in length and 7 feet and 5 inches in width. This caravan has an MTPLM of 1,597 kilograms and it's going to give you a generous payload of 155 kilograms. It's on the Alco chassis and it has the Alco hitch which has a nose weight of up to 100 kilograms and it does have ATC fitted as standard. At the front we can see the three coachman windows and the large sunroof. We've also got two lockers at the front and this is where you're going to place the gas in this one. We'll head down the near side of the caravan and have a closer look at the services that we're going to get. As we go down the 545 we can see the decals for 2021 are a teal and steel colour. I do quite like that. We have here a whale gas point for barbecuing outdoors and we also find the electric point as well. It's worth bearing in mind if you're using an awning to consider where your awning's going to come in relation to those facilities there. We've got a locker there and this is where we're going to find the door into the caravan. It's a solid one piece but we do have a window and up above there's an LED light as well for illuminating it on an evening. Coming down We've got a 15 inch alloy wheel and then we're going to find the window that overlooks the island bed and it's a rear island bed in this model and centre washroom so a popular layout. So that's the near side, what we'll do is we'll go around and have a look at the back of the Arcadia. The rear of the Arcadia 545 is fairly simple, we've got coachman above, we've got a high level brake light the new Coachman logo and then we've got our usual lights and grab handles that we'll, we'd expect. We'll go around and have a look at the offside and then we'll venture inside. So on the offside we're going to find a window again looking into the bedroom. We're going to find our bathroom window which is frosted. We've got our external flush filler and toilet cassette. Obviously it is a centre washroom. We come up, now this is the window that overlooks the kitchen, we've then got the Dometic vents on the fridge freezer and we finish off with a window into the lounge and down below we've got another locker here and then we've got our whale water pump for obviously providing water on board to the caravan. So that's the exterior, let's go inside and have a look at what the interior offers us. So inside the lounge area of the Arcadia 545, as I say, this caravan is seven feet and five inches wide. So it's a little bit narrower in here. These sofas are four foot nine in length and the color scheme for the Arcadia for 2021 is a purple color. We've got the solid purple cushion and then we've got the blue tartan to complement it. The curtains are also a purple color but we do have the concertina pull down blinds and we've got fly screens as well. Up ahead we've got the pull out table. We don't have a fast charge in the Arcadia, that's for the laser and VIP. But we do have a cupboard as well here, slide out drawer. We've got the large sunroof which lets in plenty of light. We've got the Pioneer sound system for if you do want to listen to music while in here and we've got the three windows as well. This lounge is well illuminated. We've got four spotlights dotted around and there's also lights ahead as well. So on an evening or in winter, it's going to be a nice cozy space. Storage wise, we've got these two lockers up ahead and it's a wood grain effect trim. What we'll do next is I'm going to head back into the kitchen and we'll have a look at that. The kitchen of the Arcadia 545 is over here on the off side of the caravan. We've got a good amount of worktop space here 
an additional flap as well there. We've got a plug socket there for kettles, toasters, coffee machines. As we move up, we've got two storage cupboards. I'd imagine you're going to put plates and what have you in that one. And moving along, there's a Russell Hobbs microwave. We've got a nice sink, which has a cover over it here. And we've got the same tap that we see in the laser and the VIP. I really like that tap. The microwave is situated above the Thetford gas oven and grill. And we also find here the hob. The hob comes with three gas burners and one electric ring. So that's great if you're off grid or on electric hookup, it's going to cover all types of touring. We then have the grill and the oven. And the oven is at a good height, although there's a little bit of restriction from behind with this here. All I would say is if you're using the hob and the microwave at the same time, just be careful that you don't catch yourself with anything that's on the hob. So that's the kitchen area. We then find here, we've got our under counter Dometic fridge with freezer compartment. That's going to be certainly good enough for a couple of days for a few of you and probably a week if you're just a couple. For your cutlery, there's a slide out drawer here and there's a further drawer here. And then we have a little storage cupboard as well. And that's where we're going to find the gas cut off. Opposite the kitchen on the near side, above the door, we're going to find the coachman control panel up ahead there for electric and lighting and water. And we see as well the Alder control because the Arcadia does have the Alder wet central heating system. The doors, as mentioned before, is one piece. We do have a bin there as standard. And then we find this section here. Now we've got a small storage cupboard up above. And then as we come down, this is where we're going to find a plug socket, a 12 volt and an aerial for our television. So you're going to probably be putting your television here on a stand and watching it from the lounge area. Under here, we're going to find another small cupboard. There's a shelf in there and we're also going to find the table for eating in the lounge area. So that summarises the living space. What we're going to do now is we're going to head through the door and this is going to take us into the centre washroom. So let's venture through here and have a closer look. So we come through the door, the front of the caravan is now ahead of us and the rear is back here. The door has got a lock on it for privacy and if you are using this as a four berth, this is a great layout due to the centre washroom. The bedroom behind me does have sliding doors on each side, so it means you can separate it off. So behind me on the off side, we've got this large mirror. We do have frosted glass windows and a drop down blind. We're going to find our Thetford swizzle toilet and a toilet roll holder. In the centre of the washroom, we're going to find the wash basin, a nice tap, which is the same as the one in the kitchen area. And we've got a toothbrush holder here. And under the sink, we're going to find a cupboard. And that gives you plenty of space for toiletries for the people that might be using the caravan. What I'm going to do next is I'm just going to turn around and show you the shower area. So the shower cubicle is separate in its own right. It's on the near side of the caravan. We've got this screen, which if you open that, the screen then pulls round all the way and slides back and locks into place again. Good sized cubicle. We've got shelving there for shower gels and shampoos. And generally, yeah, a nice showering space. I do like that. So that summarizes the bathroom area in this 545. I do like a central washroom and I think they made a good use of the space. What I'm going to do next is head into the bedroom so we can have a look at the island bed back here. The bedroom area of the 545. Now we find this large island bed. This is actually the back wall of the caravan now and then here we've got the headboard, 
the bed itself. This bed is four foot five inches wide and it's six foot and four inches in length. So it could be good if you're a taller person. We've got spotlights above the bed. We've got cupboards for storage above the bed. And on either side, we have a wardrobe space. Now this one is slightly smaller because on that side is where we're going to find the Alder wet central heating tank. We do have a shelf next to each side of the bed. And one of the good things is this isn't so low that it's going to catch your drink and cause a spillage. We also have small cupboards just under there as well. One thing I haven't noticed as yet, and it might just be that I can't find them, is I haven't found any USB chargers back here in the bedroom. What I have found though is on here, on this centre pillar, we have got a television bracket, a plug socket, and a 12 volt and aerial socket. So you're going to be able to fix a television back here if you want to watch television in bed. So that summarises the bedroom. As you can see, this is what you're going to get in the 545. What we think we should do now is head back into the lounge and we'll just have a quick summary. So I'll see you in the lounge. So there we have it. That's the Coachman Arcadia 545, entry level caravan on a single axle. It offers four berths with that rear island bed and centre washroom. It is a popular layout. The cost of this caravan is just under £25,000. It does come with Alder Wet Central Heating and various other features included in that price. If you want to know more about it, I suggest you visit a local dealership and take a closer look for yourself. Hopefully that's given you a small and short look around this coachman new for 2021. As always, I'd just like to say thank you very much to Sal at Leisure for allowing me to film today. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.